Oh man, guys, we'll be needing your input today. AC family, do I have a video for you? We're back with the Rhino Beetle games quickly approaching the finals. And today, we've got two rounds of Rhino Beetles competing for the chance to win a beetle paradise, complete with food, shelter, and the right to breed with females and pass on their genes. Do prepare your voting fingers for this episode, because for the very first time, you at home watching, that's right, you, AC family, will be able to fully be part of the games by actually voting off one of the Rhino Beetles in a judging round, where you vote for who of the remaining Rhino Beetle gladiators stays and who faithfully gets sent home out of the ant room and on their way back into the wild from where they were collected. So keep on watching until the end for the ultimate at-home voting round. This action-packed, interactive, and educational episode will blow your mind as you, the AC family, cheer on your Rhino Beetle gladiators in a race for food as well as a beetle performance of sorts. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around once again, take your seats in the Antiverse, and let's marvel at the world's most amazing Rhino Beetles for another week of beetle love here on the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Enjoy. For those of you who are just joining us, these Rhino Beetle games have been continuing now for the past few weeks, with two male Rhino Beetle gladiators having been eliminated thus far. We the AC family, i.e. subscribers to this channel, have each selected our favorites. See the comment section for the team hashtags, and you will see that the Rhino Beetle games fever has gotten quite intense. I consider these last rounds to be the semi-finals of the Rhino Beetle games, because the next episode of the games will feature the final two elimination rounds. If you're new to the channel, first off, welcome to the Antiverse. Our ant room which is ruled by kingdoms of ant colonies, which include other beasts which are in some way connected to the real life stories of these various ant kingdoms. The great rhinoceros beetles participating in these games for instance, came to the Antiverse at Thanksgiving last year, when the initial plan was to serve the beetles, which were just grubs at the time, as delectable Thanksgiving feasts for the ants. But when that fateful moment came, when I was to slaughter the giant fattened larvae, I changed my mind last minute. I simply didn't have it in me to kill the poor grubs, and so we kept them and raised them. From the repulsive, naked, and helpless larvae grew majestic and powerful rhino beetles whose males were fully equipped with mighty horns, thorny legs, and loud hisses, and females rounded, beautiful, and sweet. This new collection of adult male rhino beetles became the gladiators that we have now been watching compete in these rhino beetle games, our great beetle Olympics. And by the end of it all, one final male will be able to live with all the females in beetle paradise for the rest of his remaining month or two of life. So. Now that we've all been caught up with the recap, let's have a quick look at the remaining five Rhino Beetle Gladiators and how they've been doing so far. Good evening, Antibers. This is DJ VW and DJ Lady B. Let's have a recap of the remaining Rhino Beetle Gladiators who have fought for their spot to remain in these games this far into the competition. Team Aries, sound off in the comments. Aries has proven to be a very good contender so far. He isn't the largest male, but has managed to prove that he's got the skill and strength to make it to the finals. He placed third in last week's event. Yes, I think Aries still has a lot of fight in him to take Team Aries into the finals next week. Let's see how he does today. Next up is Team Poseidon. Sound off in the comments. Poseidon, one of the largest and perhaps one of the most popular of the gladiators, has shown us how easy it's been to wash away the competition. Oh, I see the crowd out there doing the way for him. <laughs> Team Poseidon is an enthusiastic fandom. Poseidon was the top winner of the Pyramid of Hera for the first RGB event and has never been in the bottom elimination rounds. Next up, Team Dionysus. Sound off in the comments for your gladiator. You know, Dionysus has impressed me greatly. He's the oldest of the Rhino Beetles, but has always proven to be one of the top contenders in these games, placing second last week in second place as well the week before. A toast to Gladiator Dionysus and him taking first place this week. Up next, 
Team Hephaestus. Hephaestus fans, sound off in the comments. Wow, oh. listen to those fans. Such a contrast from when Hephaestus first hit the stage. He had the least amount of support in the games, but it seems he's managed to strike while the iron was hot and win over the fans of Eliminated Gladiators. Yes, and as the top winner of last week's event, with the Pyramid of Hera, he earned himself immunity from this upcoming event and gets to sit out safe until the following event. That's right, so sit tight, Team Hephaestus, as you will get to see your Gladiator compete soon. And finally, we have my ultimate favorite, Team Hades! Let's sound off in the comments! Now Hades, being the youngest of the competition, he's also the biggest of all the male Rhino Beetles. But Lady B, it seems neither of these have helped him, as week after week, Hades has ended up in the bottom elimination rounds every time. How fitting as the god of the underworld. Oh no, you <laughs> didn't! I'm just teasing. You're just mad he eliminated Zeus last week. And he's probably calculating all of this for added drama. He will, after all, get into acting after this. <laughs> so whatever. Okay. AC family, and now the time has come. It's time we have a look at our next RGB event called the Amazing Food Race. Adult rhino beetles feed on tree sap and rotten fruit, and their ability to find food, and furthermore, to find the best quality food, is critical for a rhino beetle success in the wild. Tonight, the beetles have emerged to feed, and are likely surprised there isn't the usual rotting banana piece waiting for them in their Sudan sweets. Little do they know, they're in for a special feast they've never had before. AC family, I'm pleased to present to you, Beetle Jelly, a specially made delectable beetle food for rearing adult scarab beetles and sap-sucking insects. It's packed with tons of amazing vitamins and nutrients. The juices from these delicacies alone will be enough to get these rhino beetles running. The females will be dining on this beetle jelly tonight, as they will be needing it for egg production soon. But as for our males, they will have to do a little bit of traveling for it. Behold, the racetrack for this race of the century. This event will be a simple race to the finish line, where a vat of beetle jelly will be waiting for them. The rules are simple. The beetles will have to make their way to the finish line with the guidance of my hand to ensure they remain on track and constantly moving forward. And the winner who gets to the beetle jelly first wins the Pyramid of Hera this week, which in this event will earn the top gladiator Beetle jelly meals every night for the remainder of the games. The stakes are definitely high. A line of beetle jelly juice will also be laid down on the track to guide the rhino beetles to the finish line. There will be no elimination round this week, so the gladiator who takes the longest to finish, or doesn't finish at all, will be the one who gets eliminated from the games. And the gladiator we say goodbye to today. So the pressure to perform well is definitely on for every gladiator in this round. Good luck to all competing beetles, and may the best gladiator win. Inhabitants of the Antiverse, gathered here are your remaining rhino beetle gladiators. Sound off in the comments for your champion gladiator. Let the rhino beetle games begin. Get set, go! The Beatles are off, and already in the lead is Dionysus, followed by Poseidon, then Hades, then Ares lagging behind. And oh, now in the lead is Poseidon, but Gladiator Hades quickly catching up. But no, Poseidon in the lead. And oh, Hades sprinting and catching up. Who will it be, AC family? Gladiator Hades touches the beetle jelly first. And in second, ah, Gladiator Poseidon, followed by Gladiator Dionysus, followed by Gladiator Ares coming last for this event. Team Hades, congratulations for winning the Pyramid of Hera this week. As the winner of the Pyramid of Hera, Hades will get to benefit from the boost in nutrition provided by the beetle jelly, which he will now be eating for the remainder of the games. Banana has all the beetles need to survive and the others will continue to be fed their rotting banana, as usual. 
But this beetle jelly, which Hades will now be eating, may possibly help give him a bit of an edge over the other gladiators for the remaining week of competitions. And it looks to me like he already is loving his new prize. Let's see how he does for the remainder of the games. But as for the bottom gladiator of the amazing food race, Team Ares, I am sorry, but unfortunately, your gladiator will be leaving the games this week and the Antiverse. Gladiator Ares has proved to be a very worthy contender in these games and amassed a great following over the past several weeks. Now he'll be able to enjoy the freedom of the wild. Ares, we bid you farewell and thank you for gracing us with your Rhino Beetle talents. All right, now as promised, it's now time for UAC family to be a part of these games like never before. One week has passed since the amazing food race, and with Gladiator Hephaestus now back in the competition, after enjoying an extended period of rest during his immunity from the last event, we now have four Gladiators ready to partake in this next round of the Rhino Beetle games, called Stridulation Idol. A Rhino Beetle's ability to hiss, or stridulate, can help it survive by scaring away a larger creature which may decide to eat it. So in this event, our remaining four gladiators will get the chance to wow and scare us at this microphone with their most intimidating stridulation sounds. And all you guys at home need to do is vote for whomever you feel had the most scary, most intimidating stridulation performance of the group. Kind of like an at-home voting or the Rhino Beetle voice. The results will be announced in the next Rhino Beetle Games episode, and the gladiator with the most votes will win the Pyramid of Hera, which will earn the winning gladiator transport of his Sudan suite to the quietest and darkest region of the Antiverse for the remainder of the games. It's ultimate Rhino Beetle peace and quiet. However, whomever gets the least amount of votes shall be the gladiator who will be eliminated and sadly leave the Antiverse leaving only three remaining gladiators to compete in the finals. So are you guys ready for this? Let's do this! Can we have some quiet please everyone? First up on the mic is a performance by Gladiator Poseidon. Okay, thank you Gladiator Poseidon for that number. Next up, we have Gladiator Hephaestus. All right, thank you, Gladiator Hephaestus. Next, we have Gladiator Dionysus to show his stuff. Thank you, Gladiator Dionysus. And finally, we have Gladiator Hades to gift us with the power of Hiss. Go! Thank you, Gladiator Hades. 
And there you have it, AC family. Your four remaining gladiators showing you how intimidating their stridulation is. Now please take a quick moment to click here and vote for the Rhino Beetle Gladiator you think had the most, I repeat, the topmost intimidating, scariest stridulation sound of the four gladiators we just heard. Thank you AC Council for your votes. Be sure to remain subscribed to this channel so you can keep updated on the final results to be announced in our Rhino Beetle Games video. The stakes are high guys as we wind closer to crowning the ultimate winner of the games. All of that happening in the next and final Rhino Beetle Games episode. I'm super excited to see who wins. But hold on. It seems there's something about the Selva de Fuego, our massive Paludarium kingdom, to our mighty Fire Ant colony, the Fire Nation, that has been bothering me lately. It's actually causing me some real concerns. Oh boy. AC family, you know what? I think... No. Correction. I know we're in for something extremely crazy up ahead. All right, guys, so what do you think? We're getting closer to crowning the ultimate gladiator as winner of the Rhino Beetle Games. It was sad to say goodbye to Gladiator Ares this week, but as you can understand, only one can remain as the winner. Were you happy with the results? And is your gladiator leading in the polls for the Stridulation Idol event? But in other news, there's something that needs to be reported about the Fire Nation in the Selva de Fuego. But I won't be able to get to that until next week's episode. So guys, be sure to smash that subscribe button and bell icon now, so you get notified at every single upload. And stay with us for these continuing epic stories within the Antiverse. And hit the like button every single time, including now. Trust me guys, you will want to be part of this super fun and educational experience. Also, it's officially nuptial flight season for ant keepers in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm super excited for you ant keepers in North America, Europe, and Northern Asia for the queen ants starting to fly. Not too sure if you guys know, but we've got all the top of the line ant keeping gear for you ant keepers at all levels from beginner to advanced. So head on over to our website at antscanada.com and browse through our shop. We ship worldwide and offer full email support if you need us. We also have ant colonies with a queen available in most regions. So go check us out and pick up your ant farm kit and ant gear today. If you're new to the channel and want to catch up on all your Ants Canada lore, feel free to binge watch this complete storyline playlist here, which traces the origins of all the ant colonies of the ant room, so you can follow their stories and better appreciate how these ant kingdoms came to be and why we love them so much. AC Inner Colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here if you'd like to watch some extended play footage of the Fire Nation in the Salva de Fuego. You'll find out soon what's been bothering me if you don't notice it in this hidden video. And now it's time for the AC Question of the Week. Last week we asked, which of the three different scarab beetles is your favorite and why? There was no incorrect answer for this, but congratulations to Mr. Wiggles who answered, my favorite beetle is the Dynasty's Hercules beetle because of the hair on the bottom of the upper horn. It's super unique and adorable. Congratulations, Mr. Wiggles. You just won a free ebook handbook from our shop. In this week's AC Question of the Week, we ask, what's so special about Beetle Joe? Leave your answer in the comment section and you could also win a free ebook handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love, forever.